Screen Team Media. I play Aaron in the film, who is uh, Eddie's assistant, who's kind of a uh, you know put upon and mistreated a little bit. But I mean, not not in like a, a very mean way, just sort of a you know slightly abusive assistant relationship. Aaron is extremely nervous and anxious and uh, sort of always waiting for like another shoe to drop. You know, just kind of just. Kinda <laughs> He's very jittery. Uh, and that's that's totally from uh, from Jack, you know, Eddie's character, which was sort of how I was the first week or so too with Eddie. I was sort of just like you know a little nervous. Thought I might throw up the first day, but but uh, but it's been good. I'm 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 not nearly as nervous as Aaron anymore. The story is that Aaron's boss Jack is this kind of loudmouth, fast-talking literary agent, uh, and he ends up getting a book from this new age guy, Sinja. Uh, and I guess he sort of, Sinja, you know, sees he needs to do something for this guy. So he kind of puts a curse on him that he only has a thousand words left to say before he dies. And it's a tight, and he has this tree in his yard that every time he says a word, a leaf falls off. And then, uh, you know, my character at first doesn't, you know, obviously thinks it's kind of insane, uh, but ends up kind of going with it and then believing Jack because he sees the tree, you know, and sees it happen. So then he goes about trying to help Jack not die, you know, and save his job and his marriage and life and everything. <laughs> the story's got a, a nice message to it about, um, I guess, saying what you mean, maybe, not being too, too false. I think he puts up with it because he knows that Jack is the best and he wants to be trained by the best and, you know, eventually take his job. It's probably the secret plan. Well, there's one scene where Jack has to go to this big important meeting and uh, and he can't talk, you know, or it'll kill him. So I end up doing all the talking and try to, you know, kind of do my version of what I think Jack would say and behave. And it's a total disaster because I, you know, I, even though I can sort of imitate like his style, I still have none of his like, you know, knowledge. And I end up just looking like a moron. I don't think Aaron ever stops long enough to think why it's happening to Jack. I think he just sort of is trying to. He, he's just so used to doing whatever Jack says and helping Jack and being right there that he just sort of goes with it. I don't, I don't think he has enough time to, like, analyze it, you know? <laughs> I mean, I think he's aware it's from Sinja, but, but I don't think he's really thought it through on, like, a moral level why this would happen to Jack because my character doesn't learn anything at the end. The tree's sort of a character in that it's, uh, like, a reflection of Eddie. Like, he and the tree are, you know, connected, so if, some, if, like, if you hit the tree, it'll hurt Eddie and vice versa. Um, so I guess, I don't know if it has like a personality so much as it has, uh, nerve endings. <laughs> <laughs> my very first day, my very first shot, you know, like I wasn't like, you know, kind of nervous enough. Uh, we have to do this scene where I'm on the phone and, uh, and Jack is calling to like see if when he says words, leaves will fall. And so like he says something, he's like, you know, check it now and like three leaves fall and I'm supposed to catch one of them. And uh, I don't know if you ever tried to like catch a leaf, and this was up on Mulholland, and so it's really windy. You know, it's it's uh, it's nearly impossible. It's, it's been great working with Eddie because you know, Eddie and you know Brian, the director, both seem really open to to improv. You know, Eddie does different stuff every take, so it's been fun just trying to like keep up with him. You know, because I feel like it sort of probably makes me better. You know, like raise my my game a little bit, like just trying to be in a you know be funny in a scene that he's in. Allison is so great. She's a, I was actually a huge fan of the West Wing. Um, so it was really cool to work with her. And then she's been so sweet and, and she's funny and, you know, she cracked me up about three times today. Like made me break during takes. <laughs>